Hello and welcome. Today we will be discussing how to edit a Bima template and make a theme of my choice or your choice using or modifying the commands in the preamble only. So the conventional way of doing this is modifying the .sty file, which we will not do. Instead, we will modify some commands in the preamble and make a Bima theme completely of our own. So this is the default Bima theme. This is how it looks like. You have the title followed by the subtitle, name, institute name, date, and the logo at the side. Now, if I use the Madrid theme, which is a predefined Bima theme, the appearance will change some to this kind of uh, template. Uh, but what if I am not satisfied with any of the themes that comes and how do I edit this Bima template and make a template completely uh, of completely in the way in which I like. So for that firstly I will uh, erase the Madrid theme and keep the use theme option blank and I don't really want the logo to appear at the side. So I will comment out the logo. So now if I run, I will get back the default Bima theme without the logo. So the entire title page, I can simply edit by using a command called set Bima template title page. In the element name, I will write title page and in the arguments I will write the code or I will write set the template uh, in which I want my Bima to look like. So if I keep this six part blank and run it, I will get a completely blank title page. Now the first thing I want to include in my title page is the title. I will use that using insert title command and I will run it. Now see what the title that I had defined earlier here is what is now being shown in the title. Now the default color is black. What if I want to change this color? I can simply use the color um, code and use backslash color blue. And this changes uh, the color of the title. What I'm trying to motivate here is that with this command set Bima template title page, you can edit the title page like a normal page in a LaTeX. And you can use every predefined command starting from alignment commands to menu page to color commands to everything that you want. You get entire flexibility over the title image. So many people actually uh, prefer the title to appear in a predefined background color with the foreground in white, just like how we saw in the Madrid theme. So how do we do that? First, we will use the environment Bimar color box and in the sorry for this number begin Bimar color box. So in the options you get a wide range of options which I will be discussing shortly. For now, I'm keeping it blank. In the Bimar color, you need to define the structure of the background and the foreground colors that you want. So here I have already defined one set structure using the uh, command set Bimar color. Title, uh, background color is blue and foreground color is white. This title is actually the name of the structure. Uh, it's a variable and you can choose any name that you like. So for this structure, the name is title. And if I include the title structure here, 
it will give me a box which has a blue background and a font with font color white. So now I will insert the title inside the BMR color box using the same command insert and run the field. So you see the box appears with a blue background and a white folder. Now in these options, you can use, you can define uh, or modify this box in multiple ways. Firstly, I will use the rounded uh, option and make it true. So the corners will become rounded. Yeah, you see. Next, uh, I can use, uh, I can specify the height using the height command. So maybe one centimeter. The other thing that I can do is use the shadow command to have a shadow kind of an effect. So you get this shadow effect. And there are other options like separation, etc., which uh, you can look up in the Beamer manual. I'm not going into that. What I'm trying to motivate here is that inside this BMR color box, you can again modify how you want your title to appear uh, using the basic commands that we use in LaTeX. So if you want your text to become bold, you can simply make it text BF and bring the insert title command inside it and simply run. Now you see that this is left aligned. In order to make it center aligned, we can use this command centering inside the beamer color box that will make all the contents inside the beamer color box center. Now, if I want to insert the subtitle, insert subtitle. Basically, the insert command does all uh, is used to insert any kind of predefined text. So, since I have defined the subtitle here. I can use insert subtitle to insert it. And if I now run it, compile it, you see the subtitle appears in the same line as the title. This is because I haven't given any line breaks here. So you can see it offers tremendous flexibility when it comes to editing your title page. But you need to ensure that you have specified exactly where you want things to be. So I will have to specify a line break here. So I have specifying a line break. And you see it comes to the next line. And I can also specify some V space if I'm not happy with the space given by the line break. So V space five points before the line break. And we'll shift it down even further. Now, if I don't want the subtitle inside the BMR color box, I can simply bring it out here. And I will delete this V space and line break and run it. So you see it again becomes left aligned and the color becomes black. This is because we have defined uh, the color inside the BMR color box, but outside it and also the alignment inside the BMR color box, but outside it, it is not defined. So we can use the general commands that are available to us like begin center, center to make it center aligned. And if we want simply, yeah. so again, we can use the color command over here to make the entire thing blue. So now if I run it, you see it's blue again. Now after the subtitle, generally people prefer uh, to insert the author name. So I will do that. And But first I will insert a line break. Otherwise, it will again fall in the same line and again insert author and run. Now, I can italicize it simply and my name will be bent and I can include some free space or vertical space between the subtitle and the author. So maybe space five. So next, after the author, I can 
include the logo and instead of including the logo directly i will include it as a graphics file so i have uh, an image with the name logo which i will include is as include graphics and i will run it so you see since i haven't used the line break it has inserted the graphics file right after the author name so now i will again insert line break and i will further shift the image down by five points you can choose any uh, dimension you like centimeter also works so if you are wondering this logo is again made in latex so everything you can do in latex uh, next uh, after logo generally people insert their institute name so insert it into Yeah. And finally, the date. So, yeah. So, in this way, you can build your own uh, title page. Uh, this is one way of building a title page. Uh, generally, I don't prefer this kind of look. So I prefer a much minimalistic look, which I will show just to give you an example that you can edit the title page in any way you want. Um, so for that, what I will do is I will firstly delete the entire uh, structure of the title page that I had just defined, run it again. So now it's blank again. So everything I want center. So I will use the begin center and center command and yeah, and everything I want, the font color I want as blue. I don't want any background color for any case. So I will define the font color as blue. And after that, I will insert title. Okay. I want my title to be bold and I want it to be large. And I want only my title to be large, so I will keep the entire thing on inside curly goes. So large, bold, and if I now compile it, my title comes out to be like this. Now, I prefer horizontal rules after this. So I will use H rule. And I prefer two H rules with a certain space in between as well as a space between the first H rule and the title. So this space, two points, and a V space here as well, two points. Okay. Yeah. So after that, I want to insert subtitle and I want this to be small. Okay. Yeah, again, I would like some in space between my H rule and subtitle. If I want, I can increase it further to maybe five points, depending upon my choice. Yeah. So in the next slide, I will insert author, and I will want the author name to be italics, and this the font size should be normal. So I'm not changing any concept. So here is my author name. Now, if you want, sometimes presenters want to include by before their name. So by this presenter. So simply just write by and space insert author name and by some name. Okay. So in the next line again, I would like to include the logo, but first I will define how much this space 
I want. So we space five points, line break, then include graphics and low board. Yeah. So if you are not satisfied with this uh, amount of line break, you can simply increase the we space. Oh, there is something wrong. Oh, I haven't given the backslash this piece. Okay, so it's too much now. So we we'll reduce it. Yeah. So again, you can change the graphic size here. Everything works. Every default or normal command works. So I can make it extra large. Yeah, so you can see, and I can make it maybe of one centimeter. So it's small, so I will make it two centimeters. Yeah, this is quite interesting. Yeah. So after the graphics, again, I will insert V space five points and Give a line break to insert institute. Institute. So, yeah, if you want to include your country name after this, you can simply include by adding a comma and writing your country name. So, like that. And finally, you go on and insert date. So yeah, this is how you simply create a title page, which will have your own template, your own main template. And everything here is controlled by you. You, can, you have con flexibility and control over everything, right? So one other important thing that I will show you is how to get rid of these annoying dimmer buttons. So this is again set dimmer template. Now the element name for controlling this is navigation. Symbols and in the argument, I will just make it blank. That means, like in case of the title page, when the argument was blank, the title page was blank. This will make the BMR button or the navigation symbols go blank, and you have a page or a title page free of navigation symbols. So, this allows you more space to edit. So probably in the upcoming videos, I will talk about how to edit the frame title, how to edit one particular frame, the foot line, headline, how to even edit uh, the default shapes of itemized bullets or enumerate symbols and all these things. So this was one demonstration of how you can very easily by modifying the preamble, simply make a latent Vima uh, theme of your own, of your own liking or choice. And yeah. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you like LATIC and enjoy LATIC, you can go and visit different YouTube videos and you can visit the uh, website of my friend Shaktashi Day. I will try to include the link in. Uh, where do you include the link in the comment section like a pro and thank you